Hello guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will demonstrate some basic and essential configurations on Mikrotik. In this part, I will set up single ISP and LAN configuration. Without further ado, let's get started. We will reset first our device to factory defaults. So, we can do this, step by step. Go to System, Reset Configuration and check No Default Configuration. Click Reset Configuration, then click Yes to Reboot. I will pause for a moment while Factory Reset is on progress. Alright, let's continue. We will access our device. User will be admin and no password. We will set system identity. Click select then click identity. We will name this device JAT router. Click OK. Next, we will create another user. Click System then click Users. User list will pop up. Click plus button. We will name this new user, JAT user. Group will be full. Then set a strong password. Click OK. We will exit and access the newly created user. We successfully logged into our new user. We will now remove the default admin user. Go to System then Users. Select Admin and click minus button to remove this user. We will rename now our Ether1 interface. We will name it ISP. We will create bridge for our LAN. Ether2, 3, 4 and WLAN1 is our LAN. We will now create a bridge for our LAN. Go to Bridge. Click plus button. We will name this Bridge LAN. Click OK. Go Ports tab. Click plus. Select an interface. Select Ether2, then select the bridge. Click OK. Do it again for Ether3, Ether4, and WLAN1. We will now set IP address for our bridge LAN. Go to IP, Addresses. Click plus button. We will put 192.168.88.1/24 for the IP address. Select Bridge LAN interface. Then click OK. We will now configure next our DNS. Go to IP, then click DNS. Click Servers field, put the Google Public DNS. 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .4 Check Allow Remote Requests. Click OK. Next is, we will now set up DHCP server for our Bridge LAN. Go to IP then click DHCP Server. Click DHCP Setup button. Drop down and select the bridge lawn, then click Next, 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 then click OK. Double click the DHCP Server. We will rename this LAN DHCP. Click OK. We will go next to IP, Pool to rename the pool name. Double click the pool name. Then we will rename it to LAN pool.
We will now configure our ISP so that we can have an internet. Our ISP is in bridge mode. We have PPPoE user account coming from our internet service provider. We will input it to our ISP interface. To do that, go to PPP, in the interface tab, click the plus button and select PPPoE client. You can rename the interface to any name you want, but in my case I will not rename it. We will select the interface of our ISP. Then go to dial out tab. Input the user and password credentials of your PPPoE account. Then click OK. It should have a R letter beside the PPPoE interface, meaning it is running. You can double click it to see the status and details of your ISP. Last step is we will configure our firewall NAT of our ISP and set it to masquerade. Go to IP, Firewall. Then select NAT tab. Click plus button. Go to General, Out Interface, select the PPPoE interface of UISP. Then click Action tab. In Action field, select Masquerade. Then click OK. Let's test if we already have an internet. Go to New Terminal, type ping google.com then press Enter. Alright, we already now have an internet. Let's check in our PC if we get an IP address from the DHCP server that we created. Go to command prompt. Type IP config. Alright. We already have an IP address. We will try to check if we already have internet. Ping google.com. Yes, we already now have an internet. We will try to do speed test. Yes, we already have an internet. In our next video, I will show you guys how to configure our wireless lawn. This is it for now guys, for our single ISP and LAN setup. If you find this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Please also hit that notification bell so you can be notified to my new videos. Bye for now and have a nice day.